all in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it? I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. Hello there lovers mates and welcome back to Let's Play Fanbow Part 8 The fourth chapter The second part of it So, with nothing left to say I'll let the game begin It worked Kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. You see, this, this, this is what I don't get about this game because at the end of the first, at the end of the last, uh, of the previous part, the first part of chapter four, it ended with each word, with this cute little animation thing that they have at the end, where each word was pretty much telling us it was showing us as if each word was telling us a story and so it ended up with uh, with him telling a story and pretty much showing that nothing happened but now we are here and it's like we're still in that story like we're still in her head because this is something i need to elaborate when i'm gonna do that speed paint with the little uh, little overdue or the little theory is that most of the things seems like to be to be or not to be part of the same reality sometimes it seems okay i i don't know what i'm gonna sometimes it seems like it's actually happening and there are actually more than just one reality there are actually five realities and then sometimes it's just lead to believe that this is actually all in her head and she's actually mad and we are actually mad we're insane and we had a fucking good reason. There is even a thing where I think that maybe the guy, the horn guy, forgot his name. That asshole. I forgot his name. And I do not care about it. And I feel like um, maybe she just has double personality or something like that. And maybe she killed her friends and that's why her aunt put her in there. And maybe she only perceives what she wants to. I don't know. I'm making this maybe. I'm making it a, maybe a bit too twisted. I don't know. I need to play the whole thing to figure out. And I need to rewatch everything from beginning to end to actually try to pull up some ends. Because I also haven't played it in a long time. So I have a lot of breaks in between. So. There might be some details that I'm missing about it. So that's why I don't want to say anything about it while I'm playing it. Because I'm not sure because I end up um, without things. Uh, because I, I don't film things when I'm supposed to film them and so on and so forth. Oh dear. Yes, we are alive. War is gone, but we brought, but he brought us home. We are outside the town town. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are you already home? I thought you'd be happier about it. What is it? Also, this whole thing with the talking cat. I feel like this is not just an ordinary cat, or even if it is just an ordinary cat, maybe it's just a figment of her imagination. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So leave it like that. I thought you'd be... Oh, I already read it. It's just that I wonder where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe I can't take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, you see? 
the bottle is empty. Don't be on pills, kids. Just don't. You'll end up like Ron, wandering in one of the fifth dimensions that are realities, and you'll end up crashing, but not actually crashing, and you'll end up having a fucking imaginary friend that's not actually fucking imaginary, or might be just fucking imaginary, or might be just another fucking person of yourself. Good luck. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe it will come to me someday. A red bicycle. It is. It was bicycle of mine. I don't think. Anyway, it's broken, so I can try it. I need Etor to fix it. He had a lot of tools. He had a lot of tools, but he's gone. How do you know he's gone? Uh. Okay. Well, Mr. Minda, do you see the moon? It's huge. Yes, I see it. Our home is in that direction too. Let's go. Oh, a change of scenery. Oh my goodness, it's our street kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. I'm just clicking and you're most likely gonna hear the click. It says, hey, street. Then my house is in that direction. Oh, okay. I'll I saw that uh, curtain move and I thought that it was somebody at the window. <laughs> and here we are. This looks much more this looks much more grey than I remember it. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Uh I think nobody's home. Kitty, do you see something? At least we are at home, Kitty. Thank you for help helping me, my friend. We did it together, my darling. Oh, I'm sorry, little insect. Don't run away. It says I took the the key, so I'm Fran. Fran? That's me! But how about taking the key? And I didn't write that note. I'm so confusing. What should I do now? The flowers are quite dead. Too bad. I hope it rains. Um, I have a feeling that nobody's here anymore. Huh? I can't see a thing. It's very dark inside. On Grace? Hello? Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have a key to go inside? No, I don't have a kitty, but I know there is a hidden, hidden, hidden key somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. Well, yeah, here. Kitty. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I could not find the key. It seems that I already took it. You see, this even makes me think that, 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 that she's not. She's not completely sane, and she maybe has more. He's, I'm really starting to believe that she has double personality disorder. Pretty much like in Fight Club, like the main character in the Fight Club. He had double personality. He was a completely different person, and he couldn't remember a thing when he was the other person. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing and I didn't read the line before that but now in order to get inside kitty you must climb and open the door for me or all right then wish me luck you can do it kitty be careful it's a very nice jumping how is a cat gonna open the door for me mr. midnight do you hear me kitty open the door Fran, I can't believe this. You are alive. Where were you? Um, both of these sounds quite ag sound quite aggressive. So don't take me back or get away from me. Well, get away from me will only make me seem more crazy than they already think I am. So 
Dr. Vierne, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window on the second floor, sir. Now I'm having even more doubts that Mr. Midnight is not, it's not actually real. <sighs> Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other at the end, sir. May I ask why are you here? I came to meet Mr. Miss Grease. I have something very important to tell her. <sighs> I think she's not home, sir. Well, maybe better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't think your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. <gasps> I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. This reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. See? See? <laughs> now shit. Really coming down like with these things are really coming together and 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 holy motherfucking cow this it's it's really coming together no mr midnight Fuck yeah, mate. I'm having goosebumps. Why do I have goosebumps? I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. You already did that! I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he's, sir. Why would I lie about it? Does he feel so wrong? No, Fran. I was afraid from. I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Harley Billy murder on Hazard Street. The bodies were perfect, perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia both. Dagenhart were found at home, and I haven't said that name in a long time. I found early this week, brutally murdering the residents on Hay Street. The investigating, po the investigating police officer Marco Hulma said it seems that the po that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick instant death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victim might have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. Police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's three sisters, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Frank Bow, was found in the wood one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. What? What? <laughs> Wait, what? So. So from the beginning. So from the beginning we are actually dead? Gladys Hanna, dear Gladys, let the newspaper know that Fran Bow know about Fran Bow. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents for her parents' murder. Beloved Fran Bow, 17 June 1974. Fran is now free from all pain. We hope to reunite with your family in heaven. So were we actually dead? Is it what they mean when they when they say that the truth we are not ready for the truth? Like when the three kings said that we're not ready for the truth? 
and that we need we still have answers that we need to find so so the whole journey was us being dead and actually traveling back and forth and then now we're back or are we actually back i'm not dead i'm not free from all pain besides pain is nice it tells me that something is wrong okay it's just a little bit of masochist in here at least they picked a nice picture of me. I'm smiling. Zip it! Shush, Freddy! I'm not dead. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were giving a new variant of duotin. When I look at it in the lab, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can be good. Ectoplatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, is the ectoplomatin. Fuck. Ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. I'm starting to be more confused. But that's because of all the new things. I can, I can see and feel. What do you mean, friend? I can see the ultra reality, sir. And also traveling the ad, into other worlds. Ultra reality? <laughs> that must be the consequence of duty, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, friend. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it? I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. SHIT! I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Oh, fuck. Well, at least we don't need the pills anymore! Ha! <laughs> I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Okay, did your father harm you? Your, with his knife, doctor. What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I I haven't said anything about it. What? <laughs> what? Wait. This. Oh my fucking devil. This is so confusing. Now I'm the one that's confused. I haven't, I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, this is true. Oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this, the nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. He's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Itersha, with Falontra the great wizard you're slowly sounding more crazy friend you need to find a way to uh, say things properly what are you talking about please friend i'm serious i never said goodbye to it was a palantra and my kiss is so alone palantras it was please friend friend palantras is the doctor of it there's a fucking god damn it i just i get rid of that name i got rid of that name he's a flying creature very fluffy, sir. And it was my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Could it have been living inside the fairy tale? It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself kill Mr. Midnight, and I saw a mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of Clara and me, Aki. Two girls in the atrium that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward! Edward! So it is a connection between what she's seeing and what's not. Okay, 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 okay. Edward, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to these girls? Doctor was always experimenting on them. He saw them together, mostly to see the reaction of the DNA, but nothing happened. A 
A few months later, they die, and their bodies were thrown into a well. You see? So maybe Frank can actually talk to the dead? Or, or have some kind of connection to the subconscious of the other persons? I don't know, I really need to think about this, but this is a very interesting theory. This is open circuit, so you can't take me back to the past. Wait a second! Then the baby that was thrown there in the ultra reality while we are in our fantasy, the ultra reality were, was actually showing us the reality that we are in. So we fell down that. So I'm gonna take for a little bit uh, the example of the twins. So we fell down that wheel while I don't know how to pronounce that. But we fell down, and while we are on the pills, we are down in the wheel, in the well, in the well. And while we, are, we weren't on the pills, we were inside the, the girl's house. So maybe there is a connection, there's actually a connection between. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe you can find... God damn it, why am I hiking? Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Foundress was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You are just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not nice. Okay, I hope it was gonna crash. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are you doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Oh, sure. Bring a fucking ten year old into the fucking graveyard. Wonderful. Let follow you. This is your parents' resting place. And also your. Why did you brought me uh, why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we'll have justice. Use the law to punish bad behavior and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, I understand sir. And for what did you need my help? Find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffin. How did I saw this one coming? Alright sir, I'll help. Maybe the diddle worms can come early. Wait, maybe the diddle worm worms ca came early. Who? Mm. Anyway, we have to find sho shovels to dig. I'll go left and you go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Deal, see you, see you then. Okay, sudden change in the scenery. Martin Bow, father. Uh -huh. Lucia Bow, Dagenhart. Mother and Frau daughter. Oh, lovely little bear. He must take care of my parents. I don't care, don't keep my parents. Keep my parents warm. Rose, is this for the is is this for the bad smell of the rotten bodies? Mommy, this is very hard knowing that you are not around anymore. This really makes me feel lost in the world. But I promise I'll do my best. I'll be happy, mommy. I love you so much, mommy. I will always will. Goodbye. Hello, father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me, so I'm not angry at you anymore. But I miss you a lot. I promise I'll be happy. It isn't fair to be sad all the time. I thank you for all the beautiful memories, Daddy. I love you forever. Fran Bo, huh? I wonder how he came up with this. Now I remember seeing myself dead in the asylum. But why? Why just me? I know the big monster wants me dead. But 
what does the Eskimo have to do with the monster? I wonder who came up with the lie like this one. I wonder what the lady that should have been the same with the little bird. But I wonder why. Again, we are without our cutest little kitty. No name, no clothes, maybe nobody is down there. Ha <laughs> ha. But nobody likes to be dead. So that's great. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Yes, it must just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Great, but do you have such a good idea? Also, who is here in the picture? Because I see the the summoning, but uh, who is here? Mm, the gearbox holder. Guys, it's a secret inside. Never touched the steering wheel before. Father never allowed that. Mm, can't be good to press all the buttons. Okay, great. I'll cherish this forever, it all feels like a great thing. It do also feel handmade. That makes it even more, be more beautiful, soft and... Also, there's these things that are... That are... Uh, there are these things that are... Uh, what the... F Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm with Fabio and friend. Hello, little fine cone. But oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I don't know giants see us. <laughs> I think I can see it because I have very big eyes. You see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector. That sounds exciting. Right now we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating mating ritual. Mating? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, huh? Oh yes, last year we used old human skin, but the little worm wanted it back. So you are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss. But where will I find that? Huh. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, giant miss, did you find the leather already? We need just a little bit for the mating ritual. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Can Where can I find a piece of leather? Haven't you rested enough already? Did the little one take you back to the soil? I tell you, I'm still from under the ground like a zombie. Quite comfortable. I'm glad it's not jail leather, it's more friendly. Ooh, can I take a piece of it? Cute. Yep. Oops, that's a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. Wonderful, perfect. Let's use this with you, with Sebastian. Thank you, giant miss. Ah, wait. Wow, thank you, giant miss. I'll drive the pine zillows. We'll be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Why did you step back? It's gonna be. It doesn't 
doesn't make sense. Ouch! Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good, well, thank you. You open the door. You are welcome, Jan, miss. Uh, Fabio. Oh, I have the gummies. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the letter. wonderful at all. I need to find... I need to find something to dig with. Oh, I can't dig with a broom. Fucking set of shovels. There you are, friend. Look, I found you just a pair of shovels. Let's dig. There's just one shovel, mate. Where the fuck is the second one? Shovel with grave. Oh. oh boy, digging the fucking grave. Me on grave. I never thought I'd get to dig me on grave. Not be a hell of a adventure. What can I say? It's from Underworld. Oh, I'm bad. I'm so poor. Ignore me. Well, Del, we'll have to come up with something to open the coffin. Just stuck. I had a crowbar on my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I need to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, friend. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. I swear that if I see me fucking dead body in those fucking coffins, I'm gonna be very mad. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, hello, father. Mother. What in the name of the fucking devil is that, Mr. Midnight? Is he actually dead? I, I don't like it. It's too quiet. What the fuck? What in the... The art style is quite cute actually. It's sort of disturbing but not disturbing at the same time. I don't know if it makes sense what I'm saying, but whatever. Did you see anything that would bring us closer to the killer? No sir, I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like this. Most of the dead cats are not my cats, they are lying. Fine, I told you your cat was missing and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be sir. I did find my kitty, you have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, fine, I'll take you back. I'll, I'll... FUCK! I'll take you back. Or maybe her twin sister is actually the one who killed her. Like, on Grace is actually the one that killed my parents. And... Oh boy, so, so, much, so many things are passing through my mind right now. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Wait. Wait! I said wait, the goddammit. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I'd say. But I guess you'll take that as a compliment, won't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Oh, my goodness, father, the dealer room took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you, who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster, daddy? Also, how are they still in one piece? Weren't they sliced? And and how long has it been since... How long has it been since we are gone that the bodies actually had time to decompose so much, like to the point of bone? Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin, great! <laughs> but that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight's home. Poor kitty, I wonder if it had a name. Well, I'll name, I'll name you Albert. I like this line. Woohoo! I'm not in the fucking coffin, bitch! I'm not fucking dead! Fuck! Into the hell.
hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Invite you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Well, that was a very, very, very short chapter. That was really short, like really, really short. I did not expect it to be so short. It only took me like 40 minutes to finish it. And with all of me scrambling around. But yeah, it's uh, rather interesting. Little thingy. Very interesting. Oh boy, there is... With this, with what we find in this, it's... So hard to actually... I, okay, I can't put anything head to head right now. I need some time to take it all from the beginning to the fucking end, which means that I need to finish actually the, also the fifth chapter. And, oh boy, oh boy, there is so much to take in, there is so, so much. Well, regardless, this was the time that I had for this episode. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna do that speed paint with all the theory. Maybe I'll do nine of them, I know, we shall see. I don't know what I'm gonna do, we will see, I'm gonna see actually because you're gonna wait for me to do that. Uh, either way, this was all the time that I had for this wonder of an episode, a really, really short episode. I'm grateful for the fact that it was fucking short. And one more thing, do not look under your bed. <laughs>